Hello wonderful person, this is Anton and today we're talking about this very beautiful, very massive and somewhat scary looking object in the middle of our galaxy. This is Sagittarius A star and you may already know a lot about it, but did you know that until very recently this was actually still a theoretical concept. We didn't really have any physical or observational proof that this object exists. And in November of 2018, very recently from when I'm making this video, these scientists were finally able to not just prove that this object is there, but actually see something really incredible around it. They saw these accretion disks that you see uh, in front of you. These extremely bright, extremely powerful and very beautiful disks are actually produced by the very powerful gravity from the black hole. and. The scientists uh, that actually observed them were able to not just calculate the speed of these disks, but to actually visually see the effects that the black hole was having on the matter very close to it. Now, although the paper itself doesn't really have any actual pictures and is mostly based on data and observations of very unique flares, three flares as a matter of fact, that happened around the black hole, when this data was simulated on the computer, the scientists got this. This is the material orbiting very, very close to the black hole at approximately 30% of the speed of light. In other words, what the scientists observed was this part right here, right before the matter is sucked into the black hole by the extremely powerful gravity. It essentially represents the last stable circular orbit around a black hole before things get too extreme and matter cannot orbit a black hole anymore and essentially just falls into the black hole. Now, this particular area has only been speculated and, I guess, theorized before uh, using mathematics and using our understanding of Einstein's theory of relativity, but this is actually the first time we were able to actually see it experimentally and thus prove the existence of the black hole, once again prove Einstein's theory, and most importantly, actually realize that these accretion disks really do exist around black holes. And what's more is that it also allowed us to understand that these uh, particles right here, this matter, is moving close to about 30% of the speed of light. Really, really, really high speeds. This also suggests that the amount of energy and also the amount of magnetic field generated by these streams has to be incredibly strong, very, very high. And based on this study, we can now also confirm a few more things about the accretion disk and also the black hole. First of all, we were relatively accurate with the assumption of the mass of this black hole. It's about 4 to 4.1 million masses of the sun. We also know that uh, one of the more stable orbits here, the only stable orbit um, before you actually fall into the black hole, is at about 4 radii four radii right here from the short child radius. And this also means that um, this accretion disk here that moves at around 30% of the speed of light takes approximately 50 to 60 minutes to orbit this black hole once, which is actually quite impressive. Basically, a single year here is only about an hour long. But don't forget that there's a lot of other effects here that would make orbiting this black hole very, very challenging and most likely deadly. But what is interesting is that because we have discovered the uh, actual accretion disk and also it's relatively magnetic, this can also suggest that our uh, black hole is actually shooting out the relativistic jets that are usually associated with black holes, although it's probably not very powerful because we don't seem to see that much material leaving the area and we definitely don't see the actual jets themselves. And so this actually is one of the more exciting studies of this year, at least in my opinion, because once and for all it actually kind of unofficially proved that, yep, there is definitely a supermassive black hole in the middle of our galaxy, and we've just seen some of the effects of this black hole based on the observation of these accretion disks. However, um, we're still yet to see the actual first photo of this black hole, even though it's supposed to have come out about a year ago. Uh, I actually looked into that study and apparently there were some complications with the data analysis. The data was extremely difficult to analyze. So maybe in the next year or so we'll actually finally see what this black hole really looks like. For now though, we're going to be limited by our observations of the accretion disk and also stars passing by near this black hole. 
such as this star right here, known as S2, the closest star that approaches this black hole, actually getting redshifted and changing its color a little bit when it passed by the closest region near the black hole. But until we get the actual photo of this black hole, I think we're just not going to be very satisfied. Nevertheless though, the proof behind the existence of this black hole is very very strong so there's almost no doubt about Sagittarius A star now, simply based on the scientific observations from the last few years. Anyway, that's all I wanted to talk about in this video and if you want to check out the actual paper behind this study, it's in the description below. Thank you for watching, subscribe if you still haven't, share this video with someone who wants to learn about space and other scientific events through video games and simulations and come back tomorrow to learn something else. Space out, and as always, bye bye.